Did you grab it already? I wanted to grab it. I wanted to see if I got another funky vision. Okay. I I guess we're done here. Stop right Whoa. there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Starfield. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and I'm kind of enjoying listening in on their little private chat. But, um, we have a job to do. We're here in Neon, and we have to, um, basically check on the security for our meeting. What exactly that involves? Not entirely sure. We need to basically get some details and some background on our contact and uh, yeah, investigate the cellar and uh, then we need to check out some details about the location. We are not going to speak to the Nizar in jail. He can rot in jail, the filthy smuggling blah. Um, but investigate the cellar, that is good. Apply for a job at, um, was it, uh, Ryzen Industries, um, it's an interesting idea, but, um, I'm not sure about that yet. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. Um, investigate the cellar. So, the cellar is this guy, James Newell. Um, okay. Let's Welcome see what we can figure out. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Okay, that's good to know. You have a problem with Sieghart's? Oh, I don't have a problem with his place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. He sounds like Thornier from Oblivion. Keeping his place safe sounds like a smart business to me. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, I do see your point. Sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Okay. Um. Do you want me to see if I can have a chat with Sika? Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Um. Well, thank you might be nice. Yes, of course. On behalf of Rosa and I, thank you. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. How often have you tried speaking to him yourself? The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Sigurd said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. Fair I enough. honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. Okay. And is all of Neon security corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Well, I am a member of the Rangers. Let me have a chat Watch with Sigar and there. see if we can do that to butter you up before we before we uh, push in, push into having a conversation with you about the, the thing you've set up with Walter. I mean, I'm hoping if I do something nice, he might be a little bit more on side. 
So let's go in and there speak to Sigar here. So I expect you to be on your best behaviour here. Well, I'll think about it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna chunk one of these uh, persuasion meds. I've not got very many, so I better make them count. How about hitting a Hello there! Watching Let me know if you need bad. anything. You know, welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Like Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Okie dokie. Quite a bold claim indeed. You, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time. Look around. Ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Okay, well, I've only got five minutes till my thing wears off, so... Um, quite an impressive shop Thank you have you here. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Yeah, why don't you speak to Benjamin Bayou? Um, <laughs> like someone didn't have a proper financial plan. Uh, well, choice business locations aren't cheap. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? I'll, I'll think about it, but maybe I can uh, have a chat with you. Um, maybe your store will be My more successful mother, outside you of said the same thing. The fees here are quite expensive, and What's I'm barely making doing? ends meet. But I've always been quite stubborn. It has not always been easy, but I've been at this location for eight years, and I won't give up. My business is my pride and joy. You won't find another store like mine on Neon. So please, support my business with your patronage. You won't be disappointed. I'll think about it. But what about these security payments you're paying to Neon Security? That could save you some cash. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really... I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Uh, Neil says if the Alliance is unified, they can stand up to security. Easy for him to say he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexler, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. Uh, you would never stoop as low as to pay protection fees. I mean, I could try that. I'm going to try and persuade him. Let's try and the persuasion. Why is that? We've taken the stuff. Let's let's make it count. Stopping. Uh, I don't think that's going to help. Um. So yeah, we'll try it. So Holy he crap. really believes the Merchant's Alliance I didn't can expect stand that to up work. to Dexla? Maybe I shouldn't be so quick to dismiss it. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexla his safety assurance fee. That's and tell excellent. the noodles I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to Neon Security on an empty stomach. Okay, hopefully that will do this guy good. Don't worry. Well, I've been here. I'm let's sure see we what we. Let's see what he's got, just in case he has got anything interesting. So that was a win, and yes, the medical place here is just opposite. That is perfect. So let's go and speak to this guy and see if we can buy some. These idiots aren't quite as honest as the Free Star Rangers. Okay, that's fine. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. 
<laughs> That's the same line as the doctor in Voyager. Oh my goodness, another poor soul. All right, tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? I just want to see what you've got, actually. Um, I'm just here to see uh, certainly for welcome some to take a look, but I'm afraid we're dangerously low on supplies. Uh, okay. It's unusual for a medical company. I can assure you it isn't by choice. You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Yeah, I get the impression Bayou has a bit of a stranglehold on the, on the city. And, yeah, there's not like you can do anything you can do to get around this blockade. But it requires outside assistance. At this I'll point, think about it at some point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. Uh, I'd actually be tempted to to sell you some. Do you have any supplies for sale? items left, I think. I'll see if I can sell you some at some point. But we'll see if he's got any... No, he hasn't got any other thing he wanted. But I could probably sell him some. It would be nice if they sold at a higher rate. Which they actually do, I think. Like, I could, I could afford to sell him a few of those. Like that. That'll do. I'm sure that will do. There you go. I'll ask him another time if I can if I can help him with his medical supply problem. Because I got a feeling that leads down another rabbit hole. Okay. So let's go and speak to ask about security. Oh, that's at the Astral Lounge. Let's go speak to James Newell and see if that will work out for us. Also, no, my stuff's worn off. So I'm hoping he'll like us more now. I might, um, I don't want to chug my last uh, persuasion pills, but I might chug a bottle of wine here just before we get in on him because the wine will help. If we have them here, look, a bottle of Chardonnay, that gives me a bit of extra charisma. Here you go. Stocked and ready to sell. Hello, have sir. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Uh, Dietrich has agreed to stop the payments, sir. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was talk to him? Yes, sir. Meanwhile, I was so damn stubborn, I made this whole thing harder than it had to be. Given you almost went blind, working with half a kilo of fish cuts in your eye. Yeah, I'd agree. And I'd still be wandering around that storage vat helpless, if not for you. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. Well, I'm glad I could help, sir. Help. And I'm hoping Hopefully that now you'll be a meeting, bit more amicable. Will be there and everything will go smoothly. Because I would like to ask you about the meeting you set up with Walter. Well, let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Uh, yeah, but I know the seller came through you. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. I'm actually asking on behalf of Walter rather be paid now okay well if you already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter we're not paying twice I don't usually package pieces of Intel but <laughs> maybe I could okay I don't know much but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Okay. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. 
I had to chase more zone heads out of here. Okay, we'll check that out. Sleep crate, eh? What's sleep crate? Oh, and I have a skill point to spend. Where do I spend said skill point? Probably here. Um, it's certainly going to be one of the best skills in the entire game. I could increase my shield capacity. I've already, I'm already ready to increase shield capacity more. Um, I could always put it into persuasion, but I'm not actually there yet. If I do want to boost some of these up, I, I've been having a look at some of these and I need to make a little bit of a point here. Now, this is obviously full and we put one in stealth. Now, I think con uh, concealment is good, but it's not really useful for this character. I was thinking there was something that was going to be useful here, but um, maybe rejuvenation. But wellness itself, yeah increases your maximum health which doesn't sound that useful however the healing thing i'm taking all the healing things work as a percentage of your maximum health so given your maximum health is like nearly 400 anyway if you're increasing by like i can't remember how much it was this percentage doesn't really factor that highly so I'll have to look at that and do some maths and decide what I feel is best there. Um, I'm tempted to put it into shields or weapon weapon engineering, but neither of those are, are vital right at this second. So I think we'll go and... Do we check out security or do we go... I'm not going to apply for the job at Reusion. Let's go and ask about security. Okay, so we're coming into the Astral Lounge now. Hopefully, we'll be able to learn something. Sounds very nightclub-esque. But stick to the main plaza, unless you like getting soaked by the rain. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Let's uh, move on. Oh, loving it. Why do I get the feeling this will be another persuasion check? But we'll ask this guy. I got you. You're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Uh. I don't really do chems. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Um, I'm not really interested. Oh, I, I can purchase a penthouse? Well, what can you tell me about Benjamin Bay? Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. Making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Is he? Why do I doubt that? You know. Um, is there any details on purchasing a penthouse? Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Holy crap, that's not cheap. I'd love to see that place though. That's not cheap, but um, tell me more about the penthouse. What is well, it offer? Of offering? course. The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. 
Well, if I was into like a penthouse suite above a drug den, I would but be, I be there. You. Change your mind. Right. I have a meeting here later. Worried about the security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Okay. Say I need to control the doors and prevent someone from walking out. Um, what exactly would... Where exactly would a secure meeting take place? Private yeah. meetings are usually held in the floor above. Just use the elevators. Okay. And if you want to prevent prevent someone from walking out, can you do that? I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Okay. And would security look after us if a fight broke out? Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Um, seems a little high. Let's see if we can persuade him again. Setting the most reasonable rate. Well, surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. I mean, you lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by every chance I can get. A loss leader. I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, uh, I can't believe we that all our persuasion checks have gone so well. You, if you were still interested. Um. I am. I will pay that ground for the security to be on our side. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Thank you, sir. Come back soon. So check the job, door controls and do the sleep crate. So we'll just go up and check those door controls a second. But that's gone remarkably well. I can't believe, like, I'll be honest, on my alternative character, I actually have persuasion. And I would say I've failed more persuasion checks on that on that character than this one. I'm either just getting extremely lucky rolls here. Let's check out the door security here. Um, he did say it was networked. So this may not go well. Okay. So we're in, and we have a door remote control. Adding a new user to the door, door remote control override. Approved hand signal will be used to lock the VIP doors a total of one times. Okay. And scheduling. This room has, has been booked by Redacted. Please speak to Boo Morgan for scheduling conflicts. Okie dokie. See what kind of information you can get off of there. Where are you? Already done, but I don't know where you are, sir. Oh, Sarah's hovering out in the hallway, watching out. I'm sure she's keeping an eye out just to make sure everything's good. I'm sure. Right. Where was the door control? Right down here. Well, let's now go and check out the sleep crate. Maybe we can find a little bit more about out about this guy we're meeting with. Okay, we're now in a completely different part of the city. We've gone through into Ebside. And this looks like more like a sort of slummy side of the city. It appears to be a thing called Sleep Crates. Which is this one? Do you think you guys could disperse? I mean, search the seller's sleep crate. Is that the seller's sleep crate or is that even a sleep crate? It was a lock novice door. Um, I'm not really sure what the sleep crates are. I'm guessing they're just like small little box rooms. But it doesn't seem to be away from this side. So it seems to be like where those people are. But I don't really want to stand right next to them and try and crack my way in. That seems poorly planned okay inaccessible it's got to be this one 
I mean, these guys are looking straight at me. Who's this guy? I mean, surely if I break in, this is going to be somewhat shady. I am so detected. Come on, give me hidden. Give me hidden. There you go. I'm hidden now. Oh, and there we go. Knock didn't last very long. No, and it appears we didn't get in any trouble. So let's get the hell in and shut the door here. There isn't a lot here. Termination notice. Due to changing priorities within the organization, your role within Slayton Aerospace has been made redundant. Please clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your imminent departure by the end of the day. We thank you for over a decade of service and trust that our long-standing relationship will keep this transition free of unpleasant incident. So someone's just been fired. And Galbank statement? Please be advised that your current pay cycle will once again leave you with a near zero balance in your account. Okay, so they're in financial trouble. And the computer? Oh, hello, nice background. Slayton Aerospace. Personal Correspondence 1, 2 and 3. To Musgrove, you might not be aware, but there is a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now I know you are gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you, a friend. Musgrove, I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Your friend. Musgrove. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. Why do I get the feeling they already came for him? He seems to be gone. So, mm, I get the feeling like they've already they've already come. Let's go speak to Walter. It doesn't seem to me like this guy's still around. I reckon he's been kidnapped or something. Okay, we're back at Stroud Eckland, but um, I might stop in on. I've heard Core Kinetics is a good place for weaponry. So I might just stop in and see if they have anything for sale. Take it easy. They have some serious weapons here. Mag shears. You good? Mag pulse. They're what supposed to be I quite good. Hey, you what can you like sell me today? A really mad gun. Nowhere, yeah? I do. I do. I've got you covered. Okay, let's see what you got. <laughs> I like your style. And I'm not just saying that, I mean, I really like your style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I had you all figured out the moment you walked into my showroom. What? Well, I'm here to buy a gun. I said to myself, Matthias, that looks like the kind of person who blow a hole in the wall to get to their goal. I'm talking military grade, state of the art weapons hardware. Click, bang. Okay, Am let's right? yap more Sally Sally. Okay, good sales pitch. Let's see the stuff. No, no, no. This isn't the sales pitch. This is a game changer. <sighs> Imagine being completely surrounded by Crimson Fleet pirates with nothing but a magstorm and a few hundred rounds. You wouldn't even break a sweat. You, okay. my friend, are perched on the edge of infinity. Oh, my and lord. The kinetics would love to come along for the ride. Yes, yes, so yes. So what do you say? I say cut the chase and get the guns. I say I'm ready oh, to buy some guns already. I'm talking about. Let's get you tooled up and on your way. Okay, can I now browse Let's your inventory? Your choice weapons to choose from. My lord, that was painful. Mind tear. Fire rate, 340 rounds per second. Depleted uranium rounds. I mean, that's going to do some serious damage. 
Modified Mag Shot, Poison Storm, 12 round, 12 damage per round, 160 magazine, 400 rounds per second, depleted uranium rounds, high velocity. I mean, it is fairly mad. Am I going to spend 50,000 credits on it? The answer to that is no, because I'll need to spend another 50,000 credits on bullets. And I think I already have something similar. You need firepower. You know where. I'm pretty sure I already have something pretty similar after all his. Yeah, I have a mag shear. That's 300 rounds per second and 14 damage. And I haven't even gone depleted uranium. So. And this can have more mods on it. I'm happy with this, thank you. Find us. I do, but I was disappointed. Let's go to Stradeckland. We're going to be visiting the Astral Land while we're here. I mean, that's a given, right? Did you forget where we were about 10 minutes ago? Hmm? 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 Yeah. Have you been taking Aurora? Right. Walter, my good man. What, what are you doing with your neck? Um, right. Um, I found out the cellar is desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not Goodbye, done yet. My dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Okay, that's kind of a weird view. Walter. To the Astral Lounge. No, no, I want to tell you I've set We're up the security as well. Proud. Okay, thank you. Go on in. Let's move, my man. I'll tell you about security when we get there. I've already got everything sorted. The guy is desperate. We can lock him in a room. And then we can... Persuade him? I seem to be good at persuading at the moment. Hey, is the Borealis, I, I, I came out of the elevator and well, Walter is gone. She lost something important. He, he just vanished at the elevator. Talk to Borealis. Is that like Aurora Borealis? Because that's just weak. I'm walking out of where we need to go. But Walter seemed to teleport. Which is a little bit sad. Um, okay. Let's go. Yeah, there he is. Walter's already been in there. He's already high as a kite. How's it going, Walter? All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal. Okay. Big Talk enough with Sarah. to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Okie dokie. <laughs> the scientist who discovered neon gas, is it? I didn't okay. actually know that. <laughs> um, you don't know what the seller looks like. Though. It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Oh no. Okay, we we get done for the code. My goodness, Walter, I think you're taking this espionage business a little too seriously. Mm -hmm. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. We should have okay. the when you have the time, of course. <laughs> Is now really the time, Sarah? What what what's I have the deal? An important personal decision to make. Oh, hello. But I need to discuss something with you first. Right. Um, look, I'm always here to listen. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Nice name. 
Okay, making Chief, Chief Navigator sounds like quite an accomplishment. And you must have seen a lot of combat, to be quite fair. Well, the position didn't last long. Oh. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. Ouch. 12. Including my own. Yeah. Hundreds of lives must have been lost. I'm well aware how many lives were lost. Now let me finish. Oh, sorry, sorry. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship. But I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. Okay. I honestly don't know what I would have done in this in this in your place. Well, I didn't have the luxury of indecision. I had to act. And then not we criticizing. For hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I I heard screams before the radio cut. The last Ouch. thing I saw, they were spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. Yeah, I mean, but it was... It wasn't your fault. Um, yeah. I'm sorry you went through that. And my condolences to your crew. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Yeah, nothing you've described actually sounds like your fault to me. And your crew knew what, knew what they were getting into when they, when, when they signed up. You know. Try telling that to their loved ones. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and oh, give my crew a proper burial. Wow. These are all difficult choices. You, But you can't blame yourself for what happened. Bad luck. That sounds familiar. You once told me, no matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you simply can't win. I wish I had heard your advice long ago. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. Well... I'll be honest, I wouldn't worry, because one, I'm there for you every step of the way, but two, I think we all feel like that at times, and, uh, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say I'm here to support every step of the way. After everything you've heard, all my stories, you still have faith. No one's ever cared about me this much. Not even Arja. Ooh, how sweet. I've got to be honest. I do think I'll never stop having faith in her. She's a tough cookie. So I'll just say I'll never stop having faith in you. I'm going to drop the flirt. Now seems not the time to flirt. And I made that mistake last time, so I'm going to say I'm never going to stop having faith in you. I'm counting on that. Look, I think I've said all I can handle for now. Thank you for being there, for listening to me when I needed it the most. I'll never forget this. I promise. No worries.
You seem relatively cheerful. Okay, Walter, well, back to the task at hand after that rather um, intense but um, odd timing interlude. This person's going to be up in the meeting room, aren't they? Which is where I expected them to be. Okay. I mean, there is someone with a briefcase. No, even though they have a briefcase, they are clearly not the person. Oh, there's another one. Really? You, you, that, that seems very much not like your voice. Okay, there are a bunch of people oddly walking around with briefcases. But, um, okay, let's go up to the VIP lounge because they're supposed to meet us there, right? I don't know why Walter isn't going up there. It seems to me like they should be there. Um, oh, that's staff only. So we need to go this way around. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. Hey, you're supposed to be on my side. I paid extra. All right. Let's go check this person out. Okay, well, what the... Oh, th that's talk to Borealis? Yes. Oh, that's go talk well. to the DJ. Oh, you're Benjamin Bayou. Um, okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Don't mean to interrupt. Okay. That quest marker is obviously for something else I've overheard. So let's not get involved in that right now. We've already had one interesting interlude. Um, okay. So let's keep looking around for our person with the case. I, I'm... You think so? Maybe it's just the fact I'm a metalhead. I mean, I have my dance craze. This this is not doing it for me. I'll be honest. Um, I'm thinking this person would be named. This Aurora stuff? It's blowing my mind. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah! Not you. Awesome. Oh, hello. You very much have some secure locker thing and you have a name and you're Musgrove so you are most certainly the guy I'm looking for what is it can't you see I'm busy drinking yeah you look like a man who's drinking ah it's a nice pin you got there it's worth exactly zero credits same as my career so don't get any ideas that's that's cool I'm with Ram Ramsey and Travers oh really I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In we one do. of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Okay. So, uh, it's our job done. Let's go have a word with Walter. This place is Walter, Walter, you obviously already know. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Yep. One step closer. You owe me all the money when this is over. <laughs> he seems cagey to me, angry even. Yes, he does. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we yeah, head in, I think he's got other issues. Go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Hmm, reasonable. I can always, um blow his head off, but I don't want to, things to get messy. Um, let's just close the deal and get the this artifact. This will be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Okay. Just, just let me, excuse me, make sure I have a handy weapon 
to do the job. Um, actually, we'll, we'll take this one. Sir, are you coming? Good. Okay. Oh, I'm getting out the wrong, the wrong side of the elevator again. Ex don't mind the security, security officer. She's she's pretty um, cheerful. If you know what I mean. Okay, I won't pull a weapon on this guy yet, but um, here he is Walter. You are spry for an so older gentleman. Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insist. Come on, if I close the door, where's Sarah? The official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Um, I'll sit. No reason for everyone to be uncomfortable. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. So let's sit. I'd shoot him still. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. Awesome. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. You read the situation well. How am well. I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? We'll start with just be reasonable. We'll try and play nice. Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here right now. No, you won't. You need this money. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... Alright. Do the smart thing, mate. Take the money. Because I can trigger the door. Alright. You win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Yeah, I mean, I could have just triggered the door and shot him, but I, I figure that's not really my character's deal. <laughs> yeah, um. Did you grab it already? I wanted to grab it. I wanted to see if I got another funky vision. Okay, I I guess we're done here. Stop right Whoa. there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon, am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property, now. Signal this Neon security, we're being harassed. Let's tr do we try persuading him? And I'm gonna try and persuade it's him. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Um. Ooh. No one has to get hurt here. Oh, critical success. Huh. All right. What is going on Nicholas with my persuasion? Slate isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. You don't need to wear your helmet in here. You know that, right? Look who you're talking to. Um. Well. I mean, I'm not sure if Sarah would have preferred it if I just got the guy shot, but I mean, I am actually surprised that even worked. I guess it's time for us to, to skedaddle, but um, hell, what is wrong with my persuasion at the moment, or right, as the case may be, I am on absolute fire. 
Acer. Oh, hello. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He screws a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Oh, good times. There goes our way out. Oh no, what's happened? Who is Slayton anyway, other than the owner of Slayton Aerospace? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. Thanks. They're a I systems that. manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. Okay, okay. How do they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. I'm Instead enjoying talking to the wall. Secrets. Okay. We need to get Slayton off our backs. Great. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Yeah, we should just shot the guy. Okay. Let's go. So, I guess they're in the same tower? Yes, they are. So, I guess it's just straight out here and up the elevator. And we're good to go. Hey, if my persuasion is anything to go by at the moment... I... God, is it dark this episode. But, if my persuasion is anything to go by this this time around, it'll be good. Uh, uh... And we should duck the other way. Fast. Okay. Is there a reason for that? I mean, I did run, run into the guy earlier. All these security guards look seem hostile. And they look like bloody pirates. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. She looks like a goddamn pirate. Hoping to get it. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? It's ridiculous. Um, I need to make an uh, appointment with Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Yeah, he's going to want to take this appointment. I believe he's expecting me. Ah, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. We won't need to take up his time. We just have a bit of a misunderstanding. Maybe I could And again. Slayton. Let me see. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Okay. I tell you what, do I even need to take the bloody perk in... in, um... Persuasion? Because I seem to be able to persuade, you know, the hind legs of a donkey. Okay, folks. Sorry, leaving you behind. Wait. I got this. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Uh-oh. Walter! Ah, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. I didn't break into a your office. Bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? <laughs> yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've Your wife's a handy out. lady. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Okie dokie. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Yeah, I see it. I'm just trying to get in there without getting spotted right now. Okay, and where are we going from there? I'm assuming this ain't no door. It is not. So, Sarah... Is Walter on the way? Walter's close behind us. Do you mind if I close that vent hatch door just to try and keep the other people off our back? Okay. Well, 
we're in a rather perilous position right now. But um, I think now is a good time to say we're out of time for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time when we're going to find out if we're going to get out of here alive. Thanks a lot.